we basically wanted to try a bunch of different demos to see what worked inside of VR. And then from that point, we kind of expounded on them. We wanted to do a little bit more storytelling. When we add any gameplay element, we start thinking, is this VR-centric? Is this something that would make the player go, oh my god, this is new? And a child lost is always something that kind of uh, touches us inside, but imagine this in a planet full of dinosaurs. I had a pretty clear idea um, ever since Back to Dinosaur Island 1, what we could make out of 3D living dinosaurs in virtual reality. From a concept point of view, yes, we could do a traditional game, but from an experience point of view, this immersive gameplay experience, I don't think we would be able to achieve it with all VR. think about it, it ticks off all the boxes. You know, uh, alien planet, dinosaurs, robots. I mean, you can't really get a better <laughs> game than that. It started out with us being inquisitive about a new medium, uh, which was VR. And in this process, we established some demos. And from these demos, out came a very, very interesting story. And it moved us down a path where we were able to deliver something really amazing. So the core element of Robinson was actually a spirit of exploration. This was the very first pillar of the game. The second one was survival. Survival starts with scanning the environment to get a better understanding of what this planet is about and also to know which creatures are dangerous, which are friendly. And we must not forget that the, the whole motivation behind driving the player in discovering is really you crash landed on this planet. You were part of an exploration team. You were sent to colonize a planet. It's your and job. It, and it's your job. And something happened before the landing that caused the spaceship to crash. Now you're alone? In a way, a lot of these decisions were kind of reverse engineered because of VR. So we say, okay, in VR you can't walk very fast, so we need a protagonist that cannot walk very fast. And the same thing goes for the scanning. We know everybody looks at everything constantly, so let's just make that your official yeah, job. That's a good way to pace the, 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 the game. We want to be able to build environments where, you know, amazing in terms of size and, and, and expanse. However, we have to have a, a robot delivering narrative and driving us to a level, you know, so we don't wander off into vast expanses. So a lot of times we had to think through game design that allowed us to stay somewhat linear. It is an open map and you can go anywhere you want, but we kind of drive it so you, we get the best performance we can. Still, there is a lot of things to learn, even for the users of VR. And for example, we prepare in some of the demos awesome things that happen just behind you, and yes. we lead them to you through audio, through particles, through lighting, through whatever you want. But there are people that will still, by their own volition, not be prepared to turn more than, say, 30 degrees or 40 or 50 degrees to a side. So and that was actually the challenge in the game to make sure that no matter where you're looking at, but there's something. But I think through different you know, generations of games, we will re-educate players. Imagine what it is to sneak, like you would sneak in, a, like in Jurassic Park behind the kitchen, remember that sequence, but imagine that in VR now, where you're actually the one leading the camera. And if you peek too soon or at the wrong time, it's game over. <laughs> <laughs> they charge at you and they kill you. Like I said earlier, it kind of ticks off those boxes. I said it jokingly, but in all reality, um, Sci-fi is one of my favorite things, as well as dinosaurs and as, as well as, you know, survival journey type of adventures. I think all these things, uh, you know, uh, provided the opportunity to build, you know, what I think is one of the most awesome experiences I've seen in a, in a game to date. Achieved with CryEngine.